Welcome to Real Action. Michael Guest got Barney with me, ready to get stretched. I think that's the plan today. We're in central Queensland. We've got some very, very flash new jigging rods and reels. Fantastic very nice. looking outfits. Really good for micro jigging. PE 2 to 4, so that 20 to 40 pound. Uh, we're going to try and catch a few live bait as well, maybe a few yakkers around the pylons here. So we've got some bigger rods at the back. We find a few bigger fish. That, Super stretched. That don't want to eat the jigs, <laughs> don't want to eat the metal jigs, then we can always drop one of those down as well. But I'm looking forward to giving these things a whirl and seeing what we can find. I think Trevally, Black Dew, Grunter, Cobia. In this part of the world, you never know, and that's why we're here. Yep, yep, yep. Go, mate. Which yep, way you want to go, yep, buddy? Yep, go, backwards. <laughs> you all right, mate? So far, so good, mate. <laughs> Going well, Barney. So far, keep, so good. Just keep towing us. Oh, it's taking line or you got him? He was taking a bit, but I think I've got a bit back on him now. I think we'll just get right away from that big nasty pile on there, mate. <laughs> She's a, a nasty very, pile, eh? very nasty pile and on I'm that on thing. The, I'm on the go forward machine. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on 10. I can't go any faster at the minute. <laughs> All right, you good? Yeah, keep going. Keep going, I'm just trying to hold this fish on. I've been dropping a jig down still, and Barney's just changed it up. Um, just after the tide change, it's gone a bit quiet, and he's put a soft plastic down, and he's jigging that. So similar to using a metal jig, but just jigging that soft plastic up and down, and it's it's worked pretty quick. We had a little break, we had some lunch, and we're back into it, and the big fella's bent. Oh, he's bent over. <laughs> There's colour there now, mate. Oh! <laughs> I thought it was going to jump then, Gasty. Oh, look at oh, that. Oh, nice trevally. Oh, wow. Wow. That's a cracker, mate. Happy days. Right, mate, get that net. Oh, I can see it. Oh. Let him beat. Bring him around. Oh. He's that big, oh. big rubbery lips. That's what oh. we call a very large yes. gold, golden trevally. Oh. I'll just take the controller off of the electric motor quickly. And sit that down there. And I'll grab the tail. And it's going to take a bit of a lift <laughs> to get it in. Wow. That is an absolute ripper, mate. And on the tackle, oh, how much had, fun is it? Had this gear working. Oh. Butt hand lip. Just uh, sit that net down for yeah, a mate. sec. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bit of weight in that just quietly. You can see that soft plastic hanging out of the mouth there. Amazing fish, Golden Trevally. You, you catch them out in this deeper water. I want to say deep, it's not that deep, 17 metres, but we're a long way offshore. But I know our mate Justin Nye, who's a guide here out of Gladstone, he goes chasing them on the flats and gets some spectacular vision of them. I know I've seen some of it where these fellas and permit and things are up on the flats and they go fly fishing for them. But at the moment, I'm just sucking we're using the, the new jigging gear is going pretty good, <laughs> eh? Oh, mate, awesome. Yeah, it's awesome a fantastic stuff. fish, that one. Mate, you have done really, really well there. I've got the hook out of it. That is a beautiful big golden trevally. He's kicking his tail, he's ready to go. I think we'll let him go back down with his mates. I've kept an eye on the sounder and there is definitely a few more swimming around. Into it, eh? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Off you go, buddy. Go on. Go on. There he goes. <laughs> cool. How good was that? <laughs> That's good, mate. Yes. Well done. Well done. Yep, 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 yep. Go, mate. Oh, he's coming all right, this fish. Coming all right? Yeah, I think so. Well, mate, I'll just back us away a bit. Right oh, Good. We're going backwards, <sighs> no ships coming. One oh. over there. Oh, that's just burnt my thumb. 
<laughs> it's pretty cool. I've just pointed the electric motor that way. So you can reverse away. So it's the same as if you're casting at snags and you get hung up in the snag. You can just go in, turn the motor away, get your snag off and then back yourself out. So they're good for all sorts of things, these electric motors. And uh, it saves a big fella having to pull the anchor up. It sure does. <laughs> <laughs> Barney and I are fishing out of central Queensland. This is actually Gladstone where we are at the moment. One thing I have noticed here, and we're just out of the new moon, the tides here are ridiculous. Oh, are, so even though how calm this is at the moment, once the tide starts running out, it doesn't take a lot of wind to really make it quite rough here. So just, just think about that. If you're coming up, if you're a tourist coming from Victoria or New South Wales and everyone loves to come up into Queensland and get into some of these tropical and subtropical species, and talk to the locals and, and you can have this appearance and then once that tide really starts going and the sea breeze gets on it, it can get ugly really, really fast. And we've seen it in action, haven't we, Barney? It can it get can, uh, just changes like that. So just maybe uh, keep an eye on that. Talk to the guys and girls in your local tackle store and, uh, and they'll put you on the right track. Have a look at this. That's what you want to be dropping your jig into there. So I've got down scan on this side, conventional sounder picture there. It's just paused at the moment. And that is a pretty cool shot right there. That's amazing. Ate that jig so hard. I, don't know, I didn't get a bite. Oh, well. But I'm happy for the big fella because he's getting stretched at the moment. I might, uh, I might grab a drink of water and something to eat and I'll... <laughs> we did say you're on the stretching. <laughs> That's a lump. That's a double. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, oh, Brian. That is an absolute mammoth. <laughs> oh, look at it. Hang on. It's a beast. Get it out of the net. It is the a net beast. On the ground for a minute. Oh. Wow. That. That's a thumper. Oh, I'll just pull that. It's got that. Look at that. That's doing the damage at the moment. Beautiful big curly tailed soft plastic. It's all twisted around at the moment and razor sharp, chemically sharpened razor point hook that one there. And oh, man. <laughs> look at that. Wow, big rubbery lips. And see how they extend that mouth out. I'm only gonna have a lend of you for a minute, mate. Big, big sort of concave in his forehead there. They get that when they get big, but they, they suck in the sand they and they feed on the yabbies and yeah, have a look at that. Big mouth, so they can fit quite big baits down there down their gobs as well, but that's a, man, that's right up there, as that big as you've caught them, I reckon, Barney. Oh, mate, that's a PB, mate. All right, buddy, off you go, mate. Go on. Nice. Oh. <laughs> He's gone. Happy oh, days. Got him on, mate. Righto. Now let's see Happy if we can win this one. <laughs> so steady, steady, steady. I've got a lot of weight on this one, mate. Keep going, just steady. Yeah, she's still in reverse, I'm just trying to drag him, drag him away from right that push. Oh. Oh. Bit of angle coming up, actually. It's coming up? Yeah. It's going to jump. That's weird. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's right up on the surface oh, over there. It. Oh, it's a cobia. Cove. Cool. Woo! Happy days. Yes. Look at that. Maybe that's what we were catching, big coves. Oh, so oh, look. oh, look at that, Barney. Awesome stuff, mate. Oh, awesome got stuff. Got him out in the clear, so I'm not sure. I don't think that's what was blowing us away on the lighter tackle there before. No way in the world. But that's a that's a good looking fish, that cobia there. And uh, I've outgunned him this time. Look at that. And what he'll do, he'll come up to the boat and say hello. And then he'll go, you know what? I don't really like you. <laughs> I'm heading off. Let me check that out. What a cool looking fish. Quite often mistaken for as a shark. Cobia are called black kingfish. They're a cool looking fish. We get the, a lot of the big yellowtail kingfish at home. And it's a really welcome sight when that warm water pushes down from the coast and we get the, get the cobia run as well. All right, Barney, grab the net. Let's go. All right. Sneak him in. Oh. That's the worst net shot in 15 countries, mate. Mate, he saw it coming. There's your chance. There's your chance. Oh, there's your chance. Just let him go into it, mate. Let him go into it. Let oh. him go into it. 
They are things. Grab the tail. Just let a bit of weight off him, mate. Let some weight off. Yep. Weight Got him. off, weight off, yep. Awesome. <laughs> Come up here, mate. They're just crazy at they the are. boat, aren't they? They're a crazy thing, the cobia. Let's lift this fella up and show everyone at home what a, what a solid cobia looks like. A raspy sort of gripping teeth. Oh, he's well hooked in the side there too. Let me take my sunnies off. Look at that. Beautiful cobia. Just one of the many fish you can get jigging. Everything from, from uh, Red Emperor and Largemouth Nanagai, Trevallis, uh, Black Jew, all sorts of fish you'll get jigging. And this is one we were hoping to encounter today. And if you'd said to me, we're going to start the day with a nice oh, cobia like that, I would have said, mate. hey, let's get out there right now. <laughs> I haven't caught a cobia for a while and it's great to see one. It's going to be interesting to see what else we can jig up. Don't forget, we've got a few secret weapons in the tank there too, the live yellowtail later if uh, things slow down on the jig. Off you go, bud. Where you go, mate? Where you go? Oh. Marine Rescue New South Wales has more than 3,000 volunteers to help keep you safe on the water. You can log on with your local Marine Rescue base when you're heading out. You can call them back to check your marine radio is working. Best of all, they'll come to your rescue if you break down or worse. It costs a lot to provide this world-class service, so make sure you support your local volunteers whenever you get the chance. Marine Rescue New South Wales, volunteers saving lives on the water. Always pays to have a few soft plastics on hand when things slow down. Even when you're jigging with metal jigs, you'll find they might go off those a little bit. These heavily sanded ones are just perfect. I've always got a few packets or or I got them in the containers. So it's a five-eighths of an ounce jig head. I do have ones that are bigger, heavier hooks, but on this tackle, this hook's perfect for that 30-pound tackle. And five-eighths is just right at the moment in 16 metres of water. This much current, it'll get down. If the current picks up, I'll go to a slightly bigger one. Just make sure you get them to swim straight. I know we've said it a thousand times. Straight down through there, and then up through that dorsal fin, that long dorsal fin that's on the soft plastic. Straight through there, push it up onto what we call a grub keeper, and that, is ready for presentation right there. Oh, there's a bite, there's a bite. Got him on. Oh, good ride, mate. And got him out, Mark. <laughs> uh. Just slowly. He's there for a bit. In reverse, how's the shipping lane looking? Are we clear? Hey, we're clear, mate. I'm keeping green light, green light. I'm keeping an eye out, keeping an eye out. <laughs> oh, wow. It's just dropping that soft plastic down, jigging, doing a bit, bit today with both, with metal jigs and, and with uh, soft plastics, just depending on what's happening. When the tide was running, they were really eating the metal jigs well earlier, but certainly slowed up. And uh, I was a little bit of crazy driving with the electric, but I've got us away from the structure. I can stop us there now and get in and see what we've got. Uh, the thing that amazes me with tackle these days is how much fun you can have when you match the right gear to the right size fish. Like the weight I've got on there is just ridiculous at the moment. And I can see colour and it looks like a dirty big golden trevally is what it looks like. When I say colour, I'm peering down in the water and I can, I can see without the old polarised sunnies, you can't see that shape. Just polarising down there and he's got a whole heap of mates have turned up with him. There's probably oh, five or six other big golden trevally, which is pretty exciting. And uh, tells me that he's not the only one there. There must be a few of them swimming around. Here he comes again. I can see him down there. Oh, that's that's good. Oh, oh, he's right. look at his pals there, bud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at him swimming around. That is amazing. There's one, two, three, four big golden trevally all swimming around this big fella I've got hooked up. Mate, looks like one of them trying to eat the plastic out of his mouth. <laughs> oh, I think so. Sensational. 
Yes! Go, mate. Oh, oh, give us so no. much. Get him up, get him up, get him up. Oh, oh, oh. No. Yes! Oh, oh, oh. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Hang on to that, bud, and I'll uh, quickly get that. Well, let's get that out and get him back in the water. This one's got big black dots on it, so they. Uh, so there's that soft plastic I rigged earlier. It's uh, torn up a bit now, but look, I can deal with that. It's done its job perfectly on that tackle. And it's a little yeah, red mark on him. Those probably rubbed Landed me a beautiful big golden trevally. He's got so many mates swimming around down there. Uh, we don't want to leave him out for too long, so we'll, we'll fire him back in. We might see him one day. Go for a fish with our mate Justin Nye from Gladstone. Yeah, mate. Sport fishing. He does a bit of fly stuff in close. I might find him on the sand flats one day. Sucking a few yabbies down, so we'll let this play go and, <laughs> and we'll catch him another time. Now that's a cracking catch. Have you been catching some ripper fish lately? Send in your photo to our Alfabs Cracking Catch competition at the Real Action TV Facebook page. To get you hooked up every week, we're giving away a pen, rod, reel and line combo, an awesome JBL marine stereo system, along with some great gear from Valvoline to keep your marine engine and trailer lubricated. All right, buddy, off you go. And he's gone. Well done, And mate. They're, uh, they are just everywhere, oh, swimming that's around. That's so good, isn't it? Awesome. Some days are gold. Some, some are some diamonds. Some are golden. Oh, golden. Oh. <laughs> wow. Mate. This is the new awesome. Seinfeld right here. Come on, mate. <laughs> you better start driving, oh, mate. It's a good fish. Good fish. Yep. Um, go that. Start the petrol motor petrol. now. All right. Petrol motor, go that way. Go that way. Full lock. Go. Oh, wow. Go, 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 go. Not sure what I've got here. I think possibly. Some type of trevally, but I'm not sure at the moment. But oh, you can see those big head shakes in the rod. The good thing is here, the structure is behind us. There's a pole behind us. We're in between the fish and the structure. So if you can make that happen, which is more through luck than good management, go forward, please, Barney, then that's really good because the fish is going to pull away from the direction you're pulling and we're on the side of the structure. So we're better to stay this side at the moment and let the fish swim out into open water. So it's all working out pretty good at the moment. All right there, mate? Yeah, just keep going forward at that. Pulling some string. Yeah, it's starting to come up. Now this feels like a cracking fish. Don't forget, if you've caught some crackers lately, get in and enter our competition via the Real Action Facebook page and enter your cracking catch. We've got some unbelievable prizes to win this year. So, uh, so get your photo in. It's a seriously good fish. Uh, been on it for probably five minutes so far. And we're, from where I hooked it, I can see on the edge of the pile on there, it would be 200 metres plus. Right, let's go. Go on, mate. On there, Here on he there, is. On get there. the net. Get the net. Get the net. There, it's in there. Got him. Oh, got him. Got him. Got him. No, oh, mate. Watch that aerial. Watch that aerial. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yes, yes, yes. Well done. Yes. One of these ones oh, back the other way. way. <laughs> Cracker. Now, that's a nice fish. Pick him up for me, Barn. You, you, can you pick him up for me? I can pick him up for you, mate. That, that is an absolute horse. Oh, untangling there. He's done a yep, bit of... Yep, he's done a bit of tangling up. Sort there of you stuff. go. Lift him up. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That is a beauty. And there's that soft plastic. So, and we'll just pop that out. <laughs> and he's probably thought, now they feed on all sorts of things, golden trevally, but um, certainly feed on bait fish and squid and yabbies and you name it, crabs, um, when they're on the sand flats. But out here, I reckon it's predominantly bait fish is what they're feeding on, and that's what he's thought that is. 
There they go, buddy. Oh. They are just trucks. These they things. are trucks. They are absolute trucks. There you go, buddy. Come on. <laughs> you right, mate? I'm going to go backwards, mate. Oh, it's backwards. Yeah, backwards. Oh, I'm going to get dusted. Oh, there's another beauty. Come and hold that rod, Barn. I reckon I'm I can. I'm up here, I'm up here. I reckon I can grab the tail grab if the we're tail. quick enough. We're quick enough. Oh, I've got it. Oh, come on, muscles. <laughs> <laughs> and there's another big golden trevally on the on the light jigging gear. Oh wow. I don't uh, I think the smaller ones are not too bad to eat, but for me, big trophy fish like this are all about catch and release. And that one there, <laughs> that's an absolute lump that one. It is a lump. We'll mate. get him straight back in the water, eh? That's a beauty. What a cracking day and what a beautiful big golden trevally that is. You've been watching Real Action, Guesty and Barney. We'll catch you next time. I reckon we might have another drop before we head off. Sure, He's guys. He's ready to go, oh, this Blake. If you want more tips, tricks and behind the scenes stories, check out the Real Action Fishing Podcast.